Alright y'all, so we back in action, doing some more math, we got a little change of scenery, I hope you guys like this one. Today we're doing vertical shift downward, which is the opposite of vertical shifts upwards. So, here we go, we're doing it downwards because this says minus 2. So, we have absolute value, x minus 2. So our parent graph, which is the small thing right here, which would be fx equals absolute value of x. So we're going to plug in our x values. So for 0, absolute value of x, absolute value of 0, that equals 0. Absolute value of 1, negative 1, comma, 1. Absolute value of 2, negative 2, comma, 2. So again, we've got our points. And now we're going to go over to this graph and we're going to fill them in. So we got 0, 0. We got negative 1, 1 and a positive 1, 1. We got a ne negative 2, 2 and a positive 2, 2. So this will make us a V, a nice little V right there. And that's what absolute value is going to look like. But since we're going down, we're going to move each point down to little point things. So I don't have another color, sorry guys, but 1, 2 goes right there. 1, 2, and that'll go right there. And 1, 2, it'll go right there. 1, 2, it'll go right there. And 1, 2, it'll go right there. So right there. Again, that is our V of the absolute value that we just went down. So we're going to find domain and range of this little graph thing. So for domain, it's going to be comma, negative, infinity, parentheses, infinity, because this little V thing we got going on, it's going to go forever. It's never going to end. Now, for range, negative 2. Bracket, because it's negative 2, comma, infinity, because it's never going to end. So that's how we do it. I hope you learned.